All right, welcome. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive look into this electric furnace by SY and also how to smelt copper powered by 120 volts at 1400 watts and reaches the max temperature of 2100 degrees Fahrenheit in which you can reach in approximately 45 to 60 minutes. This furnace comes in at about $120 cheaper than its predecessor, the 2 Auto upgraded version. Now, since I can't give you a side-by-side -side comparison, I can, however, give you a unbiased review of this particular furnace. So if you're looking for just the review of this, please jump towards the end. Otherwise, continue watching to view the full process of smelting copper and how this machine works. At 21 degrees Fahrenheit, you're able to melt anything from tin, lead, zinc, silver, brass, gold, copper, and a little bit of iron. But here we will be taking a look at melting copper, as copper melts at the peak smelting point of what this thing can handle. So at further ado, I give you the SY Electric Melting Furnace. It's definitely packaged properly. It has a nice steel grating around the heating chamber. Oh look, more stuff. Looks like a 1K crucible. A 3K crucible. Power cord. Manual. A pair of leather gloves. A graphite ingot, a pair of tongs. Now you want to be sure to plug this into an independent outlet as it can generate quite a substantial amount of electricity. As we said before, we'll be smelting copper. Not only is it easy to obtain, but it also puts this unit to the test. Depending on how much copper you have, you may want to use the 3 or 1K crucible. Fill it with metal and then flip the switch and adjust the dial to the desired temperature by using the left and right arrows and the up and down arrows. When finished, hit the select button. It's a little cumbersome, but you'll get the hang of it. It's pretty straightforward. Now once it's set, It'll wait about a half hour and then it'll bring it all the way up to the temperature, the, the hottest temperature that is. And as you can see here, it's melting. Now on a side note, please remember to wear all the proper safety gear. Leather gloves, leather apron, safety goggles, tongs, jeans and boots. Anything you can do to protect yourself because this stuff is dangerous. Just about a half an hour later uh just before the peak time of the melting point of your metal you're going to want to season your ingot now to do this you'll get a regular hand torch and just this is just to make sure that it is up to temperature and you're not pouring metal into something super cold one, it's going to prevent your pour from getting little pockets in it. And two, it could potentially save your life from molten hot metal creating a chemical reaction from hot to cold, basically splashing all over the place. So always keep in mind safety first and do your due diligence before doing anything like this. Alright, so now that that's done, let's open this bad boy up and double check. Make sure that it's uh, indeed melted and look for any impurities that are in there uh, using our graphite rod uh, and making sure we have gloves on because it's very hot at this point. I believe once we get some of the impurities out, we're ready to pour. All right, one thing I forgot to mention is that when you're setting your temperature for your metal, you always want to set it at least 50 to 80 degrees above the melting point and also near the end you're going to want to make sure that you let it sit for an extra 10 more minutes of melting time at peak melting temperature that way you can ensure that the metal is thoroughly heated throughout the whole crucible 
All right, so it looks like we're ready to pour. We've got our gloves on, our safety goggles. This thing is hot. Now, prior to pouring, you're going to want to practice and also prepare, uh, depending on what hand you are. If you're right-handed or left-handed, you want to have the notch in your crucible facing the way that you're going to pour. And I would recommend practicing tilting that thing. You can rest it alongside the ingot, and it just helps for a better pour. Through experience and time, you will learn to get better pours. Okay, so the purpose of this video was to hopefully give you a little better understanding of the process in smelting down metal, particularly copper, and um, ultimately how this electric furnace by SY handles. I must say I was a little skeptical at first when purchasing this. I thought oh, maybe I should buy the more expensive 2 auto. But then I saw a video of my boy Andrew Berry and he had one that was similar and I read a couple of reviews regarding the safeguard mechanism the around the heating chamber in which uh, people were complaining that they wish the two auto had a metal one versus a plastic one, and this one had a metal grating. So not only was it $120 cheaper, but it had the metal grating to protect, you know, for safety factors because the thing gets hot. All right, honest opinion. Uh, for the price point, you can't beat it. So far, it works, and it works great. It does the job. It melts uh, metal, and... That's what I needed it to do. And rather than spending, you know, five, six hundred dollars on oxyacetylene, uh, I figured I would just go ahead and get this thing for a couple hundred dollars, give it a try. It looks safer than oxyacetylene. And quite frankly, it is safer and it does the job. So no complaints here. I give it a 4.8 due to the fact that everything has room for improvement. And this is my honest review. I am not being paid from this company. I have to say that I so far love and enjoy pouring metal. It's so satisfying and I hope you enjoy this review. Please like and share. And if you have any other questions, please drop a comment below and I will try my best to give you an answer. Thank you.